I just uh, got out of this trade. Um, it's my technically third trade of the day, but I'm gonna I'm not gonna count the first one because I meant to sell with a limit order, but it ended up selling at the market. So this first trade, we had a breakout pause, breakout pause, third breakout, and then a bear signal. Um, we, I thought if this was a reasonable buy the close, and after this bear bar, there'd probably be sellers at the high close. So I uh, place a limit order to sell at the high close with a stop, a measure move up from the from the signal bar. So um, I didn't think we were going to break strongly up for another another climax. I got filled there and then scalped out for 10 cents and missed this whole thing. I know I was actually supposed to sell below here. And if I hadn't sold the high close, I probably would have sold with a stop order below there. Um, obviously, I wouldn't have caught this. I would probably scalped out for 20 or 30 cents. But because I sold higher, um, we already got the move down, which is, which is the first move I was looking for. So I already scalped out for 10 cents and then I didn't sell again. So I missed this whole move down. Um, and on that one, I sold 60 shares at the high close um, and made $6. And then here just now, we had um, the third push up here, breaking above this high and then bad follow through. So I sold that high. Um, betting that we wouldn't get a strong breakout to the upside without pulling back first. Um, so pretty much betting on a retest of the breakout point. So I sold that high and then scalped out with 10 cents. Um, but I only sold 30 shares there because I was willing to add higher. So, um, at, so $6.60 on the first trade and then $3 on the second trade. So uh, up 960 today. I sold uh, this high. It's the third push up. Consecutive climax is up. And at the measured move target from the low of the day to the prior high of the day. So this breakout point, um, consecutive climax is from there at the measured move target from there. And three pushes up here on the last climax. I ended up getting out break even there. Uh, I think I lost like 10 cents or something. Yeah, so down to 9.30. Um, I was at 960, I think, so 30 cents. Uh, I think I lost a cent or two on 15 shares. But um, I do think it's a good sell above there. I think this bar is sell to close for a scalp. But, um, and normally I would, this is not as climactic as, um, as a situation where it would be okay to sell and scale in because it's clearly not, it clearly can't continue at that pace. This is a little bit slower, more of a slower grind. It is climactic, but more of a slower grind. And I was thinking if this goes against me on a normal day with clear climaxes and when I'm not coming off of a $40 loss, um, I'd be way more okay with starting my position here and having a, having a measured move stop from the most recent climax up and then adding more higher. And I, I entered with that in mind. I only traded 15 shares. so. I stop all the way up here and I'd still only be risking for uh, five or six dollars um, because I uh, 15 well not well seven dollars actually with the five with the 50 cent stop um, so on a normal day that would be okay and adding in higher after three pushes up and consecutive climaxes but today I I'm just I just while I was in the trade I was just telling myself that I should be doing things that I would be hundred percent okay with losing and this one if i lost this i would just, I'd be kicking myself saying why don't you just wait for a signal bar so i knew i had to exit regardless of what happens um right now i don't have the stomach for this so i'm out there um this trade here i bought as it accelerated and again same i don't know if i got this on if i got if i recorded this trade but same concept um I was, it was accelerating, I was buying because it's breaking out of a tight bull channel, but, and breaking out of the high of the day. Um, but I was thinking again, if I lose this, I'm, this is something I like to do, but I was thinking if I lose this, I'm gonna be kicking myself saying, you should be waiting for more certainty. So I couldn't, I got out of here break even, got out of here break even. So I just need to wait for trades 
that look clean and sell with stop entries for now. Overall, I know that every batch of 100 trades, my mixture of experimentation, taking scale in trades, taking moves as they accelerate, taking stop entry, the combination stop entries, the combination of all of those things, I know at the end of the 100 trades, I know I'm profitable. So I know it's okay to do that. But right now, when I'm, I'm feeling a little bit hesitant, uh, a little bit jumpy and coming off of a loss, these are the times when I have to be a little bit more careful um, and worry more about protecting capital and and more mindful of the risk and not as much about um, about how much I can make on a, on a particular trade. So the best way to not lose money here is to not, trade, not to take the trade. So I'm out now. Um, I didn't count this first trade because it was just a mess up. So four trades today, still up 9.30, which is good. And I don't want to mess up a good day with doing something stupid like that. So um, unless I get a really clean stop entry, I'm probably done for the day. I, um, I missed this cell below here. Uh, final flag breakout and then cell signal and I missed it. Uh, it just wasn't quick enough and then it got down here. Um, so I left it and then it went down 20 cents. So I, I probably would have scalped out half at the bottom of the buy climax and 20 cents. So I thought I'd be out half right now, but even if it came against me right now, I'd probably still be in 30 shares if I sold 60. So why don't I enter 30 back at, at uh, what my entry price would have been had I entered. So as it came back and pulled back, I sold 30 shares at the low of the sell signal. I don't know if that was a mistake because the move already happened and reversed, but it's so climactic, good sell signal. I think it's reasonable. So I'm in for 30 shares at um, 334.10, which is where I, which is where the sell signal would have triggered. This is one where it would suck to lose, um, but I don't think I, had I shorted below here with 60 shares, I probably would have scalped out, that's what I normally do, of 30 shares, but I would still be in 30 here, and I wouldn't have exited above this, so um, I would still be short technically. Had, even, even if I got the, the trade I wanted, I would still be short. So if I get stopped out, that's fine. The only Downside is that if I entered on the real entry here, I would have already made um, 30 shares times 20 cents. I've already made, I would have already made $6. So uh, I would have more cushion. Right now I don't have any cushion. So if I lose this, I'm probably back to zero on the day. Okay, just scalped out. So up to 1170. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. <laughs> what am I doing? Uh, tough day. Like, I mean, easy if you just bought and held. But um, waiting for a trade takes a lot of energy, more than I thought it would. Because every bar that you're looking to enter on is a potential trade. So you have to think through all the possibilities on every bar. So here, if this bar closes on its low, what do you do? If this bar closes on its low or closes uh, as a bear bar, do you sell above? And then I sometimes I do it and then I realize after that maybe I shouldn't do it. And it gets exhausting to constantly think that on every bar. And then if this bar closes on its low, it's a double, micro double top, do I sell below it? And then if this bar closes on its low, it's a sell signal. And then I hesitated and I didn't get it. So there's every bar is, is, um, is a potential trade and it gets very, very tiring. Um, and so that's when mistakes happen, especially late in the day.